Hello there, it's Bianca from Closet Historian, and today we're going to be doing something a little bit different, but I do have another hair tutorial for you guys. Today we're going to be recreating Rachel's hair from the first Blade Runner film, everyone's favorite 1940s vampy replicant. So to start with, I just have my pretty relatively clean hair here, which is not actually the best for a style like this. You kind of want dirtier hair, it'll help you uh, achieve this style. But I'm just going to separate the front into three sections. We're going to be doing a bumper bang in the center front with two victory rolls to meet it at the front on the top of the head. So sectioning off the top of the front there and then the two sides from the ear up to meet that section. Those will be our victory rolls and then the front will be our bumper bang. The rest of my hair I'm just going to clip out of the way or put it at hair elastic out of the way for now. And then I'm going to curl my hair just to make styling these front rolls a little easier. I'm going to be rolling these side sections up because eventually they will be rolled up into a victory roll. So usually you see me curling everything down and under, but for now the sides are actually being rolled up. This is a one inch barrel curling iron by the way, though I'm not taking a ton of care to make sure my hair is very curly, I just want to get some sort of a curl pattern into my hair so that it's easier to roll a victory roll in a minute here. Get that front section out of the way for now and do the other side, again rolling up just like we're going to be rolling the victory rolls later. Again, as usual, you will notice, like in most of my tutorials when I'm doing a hot set, I pin the warm curls back up to my head with pin curl clips or a duckbill clip to cool in that curl shape, and I'm going to hit that with a little bit of hairspray here too. For the center front section, I'm splitting it into two, and then I'm going to roll those down and under like I would normally do, because this bumper bang is going to be rolled around a hair rat in the front to get that sort of big round shape in a faux bang shape. So these are going to be rolled down and under, and then of course pinned to cool, just like I normally do. And that second section on the very front the same way. Are you guys as excited for this new Blade Runner film as I am? Because I love Rachel's style in the first film. I know that they're not really doing a 1940s noir um, sort of style. It doesn't seem like they are, at least for this new film, but we'll see how it goes. Maybe the style will still be cool, even if it isn't 1940s influenced. For the back of my hair, I'm also going to be curling it just to be able to coax it into a faux bun because my hair is still quite short, especially for an updo kind of style like this one. But this does prove you can do a style like this on a long bob, which my hair doesn't even really touch my shoulders right now. So you can do this style on shorter hair. You don't have to have very long hair to do this style. I'm just curling my hair underneath all over the back um, just because I'm going to be putting that into a ponytail and making a faux bun out of it. Um, that's what I'm going to be doing with the back of the hair. You can't super tell what Rachel's back, the back of Rachel's hair looks like, except for maybe in some production shots. It does seem like she has longer hair than this, but I'm just going to be putting a faux bun back there. She's got like a bun or a roll in the very back. You could also do a French twist if you have um, skills doing that. I'm not very good at French twists, honestly. As usual, I'm rolling everything down and pinning it to cool, although I'm not taking a super amount of care. Again, I just want to get that basic rolled under shape to my hair. I don't need it to be defined curls or anything like that. So I'm just going to curl the entire back of my head, sectioning as I go, everything rolled down and then pinned to cool. When this video goes up, I will probably be at the movie theater seeing the new Blade Runner film. So hopefully I am enjoying that and I'm sure I will be reviewing that on the channel soon. Um, I want to start doing more film reviews and talking about film and media in general on my channel. So hopefully I will be reviewing the new film for you guys soon. I know I want to talk about the first film as well because I really love the film Blade Runner. Of course, not everything about it is perfect and there are some things that I, or there's one thing I would change if I had been in charge, but uh, you know, not any film, no, no film is truly really perfect, is it? Okay, so now that everything's cooled, I'm going to take all the pins out of the back and then I'm just going to clip the back majority of my hair out of the way for now with a big hair clip just because I'm going to focus on the victory rolls and bumper bang first. So just kind of loosen those curls and clip it out of the way. And now we're going to do victory rolls. There are many ways to do victory rolls. There are tools you can use, but for me, I am just going to tease my hair at the base here with my Denman styling brush sort of combine the section by smoothing very, very lightly with that same brush. You don't want to just, uh, brush out that teasing and all, but you do want to smooth it. And then I'm just going to roll the ends of my hair around two fingers and then roll it to the base of my head and pin in place. Uh, victory rolls do take a little bit of practice and here you see me doing it again. Uh, it's not the first try isn't always going to work. 
Um, I usually use strong bobby pins. The ones from uh, Sally Beauty Supply in the sort of geometric case are really good and strong, and that helps not having to use 40 of them when you, you could just use four instead of a billion, so that's nice. And so I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. You do want these victory rolls to sit kind of forward because you're gonna be rolling the bumper bang to meet them, um, so it looks like one big front roll. But again, you just see me teasing, smoothing out the outside, and then rolling that victory roll around two fingers. The back of the victory roll should sit kind of against your head so that there's not, you can't see through the roll. So the back kind of sits flat against the head. These victory rolls are a little bit bigger, rolling around two fingers as opposed to maybe one. And that's because the hair rat that I'm going to use to create the bumper bang is actually a pretty large size. It's not very long, however, so you will, you will notice that I don't get the same amount of curve in the front bumper bangs part of my style as Rachel has in the movie. And that is because I don't have a long enough hair rat right now. So for this front section, we're gonna be creating a bumper bang just like this. So that is gonna be rolled under as opposed to up like the victory rolls are. I'm not going to tease this at all, but I am going to smooth it all together. You can find these hair rats, uh, usually they come in a circle, you can cut them apart, or you can sometimes find them long like this one. This one's only six inches long, I really need an eight inch one to get this style a little bit different, uh, more like the film. We're just going to be wrapping the ends of your hair around that, keeping some tension as you roll it back up to your hairline. The little ends, you're going to like aim them towards your victory roll, and then secure them against the hair underneath. Because of my hairline, I don't have a lot of space here to secure it, which is not ideal really for this style, but we are gonna make it work anyway. So once you have the ends of that hair rat secured, aimed at your victory rolls, start spreading your hair out, smooth it along the edges of the hair rat until it meets the victory roll a little bit. There's gonna be a space between the front roll and the victory rolls, and that is where you're gonna kinda have to do some magic. So you kind of pin the victory roll a little bit to the hair rat and then smooth the hair out until it looks like one roll. Now, if you have dark hair like me, you can pretty much fudge this. Um, it doesn't have to be perfect, but I know the lighter your hair is, the more detail you're gonna be able to see in this section. But you just kind of roll the hair off the end of the rat and towards the opening of the victory roll. This side doesn't work as well as that first side. You can see a bit is drooping down. So I'm trying to pin it up as much as I can. Again, I need a longer hair rat to do the style more properly, but this just proves that with uh, shorter hair and inadequate materials, you can still achieve something if you're willing to practice it several times. So here I am just fiddling with that, trying to pin it into submission and using my fingers to mold and sculpt the style as much as I can and spraying it to do my bidding. I find this hairstyle actually doesn't stay um, nice for super long. It's more of a six hour hairstyle rather than like a 12 hour hairstyle. It's not a really an all day style for me because the front roll doesn't stay as nice as I would like for a whole lot of time. That bobby pins start to hurt so I have to take it down. But it is nice while it lasts. And so in here in the back I'm just brushing everything together, rolling that into a little roll, tiny little ponytail. And then I'm just going to roll that curl around my fingers and pin it like a little bun so it looks like a bun around the hair tie in the back there. I don't have hair long enough right now to make a real bun but this little faux one will do. And of course you're going to want to hairspray that quite a lot to make sure all those shorter hairs stay in if you have hair short like me. You could again do this as a french twist or a regular bun if you have longer hair. Still coaxing the front to lay super smooth. Her hairstyle is actually a little bit more curved. I can't tell if she actually had bangs or if she was doing a, if they were doing a faux uh, bang roll like this one as well on uh, the film set. Of course, you can add some extra pins and more hairspray and pomade to your liking, but that's just about it. Oh yeah, by the way, Star Wars shirt optional. It's a very glamorous 1940s style, even if it's used for a film set in the future. I hope you guys enjoyed today's tutorial, and I hope you enjoy the new film. I hope I enjoy the new film, so I'll see you guys again soon. Bye!